Patrick Schick has had a breakout Euro 2020. The Czech talisman has made a real name for himself thus far. And he's even challenging Cristiano Ronaldo or Lukaku for golden boot. So, you know we had to do it. Here are nine things you didn't know about Patrick Schick. One, Scotland. All right, oh my goalers, we had to talk about this first. Patrick Schick scored what could be the goal of the tournament against Scotland. His stunning second goal wasn't just incredible, it was a record breaker because he scored it from 49.7 yards. The longest goal in a European Championship or World Cup match since 1980. It beat out David Villa's 2010 strike from 46.5 yards against Chile. But the truth is, somebody else holds the record for the longest goal, Carly Lloyd, who scored a 56-yard goal in 2015 against Japan, in a World Cup final no less. But his two goals against Scotland did give him another two unique records. He became the first Czech player since Tomasz Rosicki in 2006 to score a brace at a major tournament, and the first since Milan Baros in 2004 to do so at the European Championships. 2. Idols The tall and elegant left-footed striker has been compared to a lot of legendary players, guys like Dennis Bergkamp and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And although he's flattered, he doesn't agree. He simply sees them as his idols. Ibrahimovic has been my role model since childhood, but another like him doesn't exist. I think I can still improve. He also idolized Czech legend Milan Baros as a boy. But growing up a Manchester United fan, he was obsessed with a few Red Devils legends. He absolutely adored David Beckham, hanging his shirts and posters above his bed. And during Euro 2004, he fell in love with Cristiano Ronaldo's style of play. But it was Wayne Rooney who left a lasting impression on him. Patrick saw Wayne play against Sparta Prague when he was eight years old. And it changed his life. Rooney was running on the pitch in front of me. I thought that I want to do this, never get a normal job, and earn a living like him. Number 3. Model Patrick did have another dream, though. He wanted to be a model. It's true, he actually considered quitting football to become a model when he was at Sparta Prague. We gotta admit, he's a good-looking dude, but that's not the only reason why he would have succeeded as a model. Because his older sister, Christina, is a professional model. She's modeled in LA, New York, and Prague, and even runs her own fashion boutique. Be chic. So it seems the celebrity life runs in the family. Number 4. Juventus After a breakthrough season with Sampdoria, Patrick Schick was on the radar of clubs all over Europe. He was scouted by Napoli, Dortmund, Everton, West Brom, and Inter Milan. But the three clubs closest to signing him were Juventus, Arsenal, and Tottenham. In fact, Patrick traveled to Turin to undergo a medical with Old Lady and was even pictured wearing their shirt on the club's social media accounts. The deal looked done and dusted, but it fell through at the last minute because the medical tests revealed previously undiagnosed heart problems. Instead, he signed with Roma, where his heart issues were resolved. So, we'd say it all worked out. Number 5. Middle Finger Patrick has always had a promising future ahead of him and an anxious dad on the sidelines. He played his youth football in the Sparta Prague Academy, and part of the curriculum was indoor football. My dad was so involved in the game, and when I messed something up, he would put his face into his palms and shake his head. I think we all know how that feels. And during one tournament, Patrick had enough of his dad yelling at him from the sideline. I turned to him and showed him a middle finger. That moment changed something in my mind. I realized, who really plays football here, him or me? Me, certainly. But above all, Patrick credits his dad for introducing him to football at a young age, because he would bring him to his Sunday league matches and let him warm up with the lads. Number 6. Family Let's face it, 2020 was a terrible year. But for Patrick Schick, there was a lot of positive change amidst the uncertainty of the pandemic. He's been dating his childhood sweetheart, Hannah, for more than six years, and they finally tied the knot in July 2020. Then, he made a big money move to Bayer Leverkusen in September. And just one month later, he and Hannah welcomed their first child into the world. They had a daughter named Victoria. And now that the world is starting to return to normal, it's time for Patrick to celebrate. It's not easy for any of us with the pandemic, 
but I'm incredibly happy as far as my family is concerned, and I'm grateful for what's happened in the past months and, above all, that everybody is healthy. 7. Languages Born in Prague and having spent time all over Europe, Patrick Schick is one traveled young man. Of course, he speaks his native language of Czech. But when he was a kid, he had the opportunity to learn either German or French in school. I decided not to do French, as the chances were greater of being able to use German one day. A decision that worked out in his favor, since he's played in the Bundesliga with RB Leipzig and Bayer Leverkusen since 2019. But Czech and German are not the only languages he speaks. I can also communicate with Spanish-speaking players in a sort of mixed language with my Italian. I also speak English and understand almost everything in German. So, Czech, German, English, Spanish, and Italian. Any clues which country he could move to next? Number 8. United Actually, yes. After his incredible match against Scotland, Patrick made a huge admission. When I left the Czech Republic, my dream was to play in Italy, and I achieved that. Now, I feel very attracted to England, to be honest. We mentioned Everton and West Brom earlier, and he's also been courted by Crystal Palace. But because he's a Manchester United fan, we can only imagine one destination for him in the Prem. And he may have laid the foundations for a move to United way back in 2017 after he signed with Roma. I hope that in a few years I can move to an even bigger club. It's not really possible to move much higher than Roma, but there are a few clubs, let's say Real Madrid, Barcelona, or Manchester United. He's played in his homeland, in Germany, and in Italy. Where do you think he'll move next? Number 9. Leipzig Patrick signed for Leipzig on loan from Roma in 2019. But the German club was far from the only club who wanted to secure his signature. Marseille, Monaco, and Lyon all wanted to bring him to France. But maybe he didn't want to go because he doesn't speak the language. Schalke and Valencia were just two of the many other clubs interested in him. But Leipzig were the only club he wanted to move to. I just felt that Leipzig wanted me more, and I was also attracted to the playing style of coach Julian Nagelsmann. I'm sure that I made the right choice. He scored 10 goals and made 3 assists in 28 appearances with the German side, and earned himself a move to Leverkusen, where he scored 9 goals last season. And he's been one of the best performers in Euro 2020, so we think he made the right move. There you have it, oh my goalers. Those were 9 things you didn't know about Patrick Schick. Do you think he'll earn himself a move to a mega club after the Euros? And what's the 10th thing you think we should know about him? Let us know in the comments below.